Yeah, uh, so I, I really wanted it since, like, my sophomore year. I thought uh, I thought um, Brandon Cox was going to leave, like, I think it was after my sophomore year or something like that. So I want, I even asked Mullen for it, like, before that. But um, I had been asking Napier for it for a while. I, I even was showing him tweets when fans were saying I should get number one. I was like, look, you, should, you know what I'm saying? But I was asking him since spring, and I guess he'd just been watching me and – uh, out of nowhere, he had just texted me the number one, and then so yeah, it's been it's been good, you know, with the nutrition staff that we have here and all the just this new facility with the food and everything. It's been good, you know. I've just been trying to eat good and train hard whenever I have the opportunity to. If you ask him about me personally, you know, I just want to like I've always had high expectations from the moment I stepped into college for myself. I've just been. You know, I just always wanted to be one of the top guys in college football, and I just feel like I have the ability and the opportunity to do that this year. He always pulls me to the side and let and lets me know, you know, like he says things like it's a lot of people talking to you right now, you know, don't buy into you. You just got to keep working hard every day. Like you can't um, you can't buy into the hype just yet because, you know, some people do that and it makes them big-headed and then they feel like they don't got to work no more. So he just tells me to make sure that I keep working. I was the type of guy I felt like like I just had the ability, like I could just go out there and play. You know, it worked for me my freshman year. I didn't I didn't play a lot, but whenever I did get in the game, I had got sacks and things like that, so I was comfortable. So I just, like sometimes in practice, I would be lackadaisical and things like that. And then when he told me, when he uh, talked to me about it, and he said in the NFL, like that's how guys practice in college and practice in the NFL, you got to go hard. And then... After that, I started going hard and practicing in practice like it was a game, and the results showed in the game. He's a great player. He's a He runs around the field, real versatile, fast guy, and he can also – uh, he, he he can also hold his hold his own on the edge. So yeah, I think Scooby is is a great player. I think the biggest adjustment for me is probably how much I drop now. Like I dropped a little bit last year playing F, but I drop a lot more now. So just learning the coverages and things like that is one of the biggest things. Also, standing up and I think uh, making open field tackles because before I was on the front line, so usually whenever I make a tackle, the guy's right in front of me. But now I'm coming down sometimes from five yards back, ten yards back, and I've, I've had to uh, make open field practices. I mean, open field tackles in practice, and I think I've been getting better at it.